Quite a few years ago, there was a young rabbit named One. He was named One because his mother had so many bunnies over the years, she had run out of names for them, and it started to resort to numbers when One came along, which is why he was called One and not two or three or four. With so many children, One's mother had a hard time making ends meet. But even with all her struggles, she managed to get a little gift for each child at Christmas time. All of his brothers and sisters just took this for granted. But One knew just how much trouble his mother had gone to for all of them and wanted to do something nice in return. And I don't want to wait till next Christmas to do it. So One thought, and he thought, and finally thought of Easter. He thought of it because he had been thinking so long it almost was Easter. And since he was very hungry at the time, he was also thinking about dinner. Putting two and two together, one came up with... Easter dinner! Mama always says she'd like to have something really special for holiday dinners. That would be the perfect present, a dinner fit for a queen. I could call it the Easter Feaster. So, the next day at the crack of dawn, one was up. But, once outside, he paused to ponder a moment. Which way should he go? And then in a flash, he knew. Anything that would be good for Easter must come from the East. After all, they don't call it Wester, or Norther, or... We get the idea. Souther. <clears throat> and so, one headed east. Apple orchard. Ooh, apples. Apples are made into pies. And a pie would make a wonderful dessert for my wonderful dinner for my wonderful mother, which would be wonderful. I just learned the word wonderful yesterday, and I like using it. So we've noticed. Sure is high. Oh well, anything worth having is worth working for, Mom always says. They're trying to kill that tree. The old python death squeeze. No, I'm... Mighty big tree to try the old python death squeeze on, even for a python. Take it from me, start with something smaller. Like that sapling over there. Bet you could choke that with just your fingers. I'm not trying to kill it. I just want to climb it. Climb it? Darn fool, waste of time. Fly, fly. I can't fly. Oh, afraid of heights, eh? No, I don't have any wings. No wings? What do you call them things? Those are my ears. Ears? <laughs> That's a hot one. Ears. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. They are my ears. Hello in there! Hello in there! Nice echo. Guess they is ears at that. Who are you anyway? Oh, didn't introduce myself, eh? I'm Norman Robbins. My name, construction is my game. What do you build? Anything you want and anything you need. Just as long as what you want and what you need is a bird's nest. I don't need a bird nest. I need to get up into that tree. Well, why didn't you say so? I did, twice. You weren't listening. Maybe I ought to get me a set of them big ears of yours. <laughs> See, I want to get up there so I can get to that. Don't give a hoot for wise. How's the fun part? And I got some ideas how to get you up there. You do? Jim dandy ideas. And what's more, I work for chicken feed. <laughs> chicken feed. Get it? Chicken feed. <laughs> I don't have any chicken feed. Bird seed? Nope. Worms? You! No. Well, what do you got? Air. So, air's good. Gotta have air to breathe. Besides, getting a possum up a tree sounds like a challenge, and I like challenges. Oh, great. I'm gonna get an apple for my mother. Apples? Why, they ain't no apples up in that tree. It's an apple tree, isn't it? Well, yup, but this is spring. Apples is only blossoms in the spring. You gotta wait months for apples. 
Now what am I gonna do? I wanted to make an Easter dinner for my mother. With just apples? <laughs> Even an apple with a nice, fat, juicy worm in it is a pitiful poor excuse for our Easter dinner. Well, what the? Ham. A nice, big, juicy ham. Now there's an Easter dinner for you. Ham? What's a ham? I've never had ham. Go over that hill there. That's them pigs in that brick house. Pigs know all about hams. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Apples in the springtime. I said it before and I'll say it again. Possums ain't very smart animals. And that kid's a possum if and I ever saw one. <laughs> Over the hill, one came across a very neat little brick house. And on the mailbox it read, The Three Little Pigs. Only the words little pigs had been crossed out and the words big lions had been substituted. Oh well, I guess the little pigs must have moved. But maybe the big lions know where the little pigs moved to. Actually, the three little pigs hadn't moved at all. They had just changed the name on the mailbox to big lions, thinking the word lions might scare away a certain hungry wolf who was on the prowl. We can smell your tricks a mile away. I'm not a wolf, I'm a rabbit. Just what a clever wolf would want us to think. No. See, I'm trying to get an Easter present for my mother. Mr. Hobnob and Robin said you might be able to help me. Help, help you what? Help, help you help yourself to us? Go away, wolf. I'm not a wolf. You look like a cute, innocent little bunny rabbit, but how do we know you're not a wolf in bunny's clothing? Because I'm too little to be a big old wolf in disguise. Well, you've got a point there. You are little. You'll have to excuse us. We're nervous wrecks. There's a hungry wolf out there trying every trick in the book to get into our house. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He's a fiend, but enough of that. He'll do us good to take our minds off him and help someone. Well, see, I'm trying to put together a wonderful Easter feaster for my mother. And Robin told me what I needed and said that you knew all about it. Oh, really? And what might that be? Something called ham. Ham! Ham! I think I said something wrong. You, you are the wolf! We knew it! We knew it! Everyone's a wolf! Well, you're not gonna get us! Forget ham! Forget ham! Eat more chicken! Eat more turkey! It's leaner! Low fat! Better for you! No ham! Help! 911! Help! Police! There's a vicious wolf on our steps looking for ham! He's about a foot tall, white, with long ears and a fluffy tail. We know it sounds like a precious little bunny rabbit. I don't get it. All I said was ham and they went bonkers. I don't even know what ham is. Which was the biggest part of the problem. One may not have known what ham was, but almost everyone else does. Ham is part of a pig's hind leg. Three little pigs, like most pigs, were rather attached to all of their hind legs. So one was right back where he started from. Well, not quite. What was it those pigs said? Eat more chicken, eat more turkey? Wonder where I could find a chicken. Chitlin's chickens. That's a good bet. One would think. So one went in with the hopes that maybe one of them would volunteer to be Easter dinner. Excuse me, which one of you would like to be a special Easter dinner for my mother? <laughs> Thank you. Bok, 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 bok. Bok, 
your mother is so lucky to have such a thoughtful son. It shouldn't be so hard to make dinner, but <laughs> nothing's gone right. Uh, and there aren't even any apples on the apple trees. Uh, and I put some pigs in a panic. Uh, and they told me the chickens and turkeys are what I should get. Not him, whatever that is. <laughs> I'm just a dumb buddy and I'll never do anything to make my mother happy. <laughs> you love your mother, don't you? I'll bet you even rock give her a card on Mother's Day. Bah, don't you? <laughs> Last year I gave her some flowers. Bah, 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 bah. Any little bunny Bark loves his mother deserves to be helped. You mean you'll volunteer to be Easter dinner? Bark, bark. I'm sentimental. Bark. I'm not crazy. But I will give you something to give your dear sweet mama. Here, bark. An egg? Not just any egg. This is a bark. Free to chicken egg. I'm the team leader of this hen house and we put out the best bark eggs in the land. Just look at it. Bark. Look at the size, shape, and texture. Bark. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yes, it is beautiful. This will be a wonderful present for my mother. Thank you. You're so nice. Bark. Now run along. Go home to your bark mother. <laughs> bark. Thank you again. He kissed me on the cheek. So, one set off for home carrying the chicken's egg with both hands because as almost everyone knows, eggs are fragile things and easily broken. Almost everyone knows too that weasels like eggs more than anything. One for one was one of the ones who didn't know this though, nor did he know that he was being watched by a sly weasel intent on bamboozling, flim flamming, and horn swoggling him out of his egg. But how? That's the question. Think, 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 think. Aha! Uh -huh, all the beans! Beans. You see, Wicked Windle had recently been swindled himself by a traveling salesman who offered to trade him magic beans for a cow that he had in his possession. And they aren't very magical. They just lay there and don't do nothing. But if that guy could trick a slick weasel like me with them, I can sure trick that dumb bunny. This weasel's full name was Wicked Windle Weasel. But since his first name was a dead giveaway, it only went by his middle name. Window Weasel at your service, Jack. What are the odds? I ask you, what are the odds? Huh? What are the odds of meeting you here like this, Jack? Jack? My name's not Jack. It's Juan. This is your lucky day, and do you know why? Because of these. Beans? Magic beans, Jack. Magic. And they're all yours, and all it's going to cost you is that little old egg you got there in your hand, Jack. Oh, no, sir. This egg is a present for my mother. And which is a better present, Jack? One measly old rotten egg or magic beans? What's magical about them? What's magical? Why, they grant wishes, and they really, really work. Why, just a few minutes ago, I was sitting over there wishing to meet up with a cute little bunny carrying an egg, and voila, here you are. Magic. You believe me, don't you? You trust me, don't you? I'm very trustworthy, Jack. Well, maybe so, but just the same, this egg is for my mother. Mother? Oh, boo-hoo! Mother! I wanted the egg for my dear, sweet, frail, and weak, sweet mother, who's starving. Cook her the beans. She's allergic to beans. Oh, boo-hoo! In fact, she's allergic to everything but duck eggs. This is a chicken's egg. And chicken eggs. Duck eggs and chicken eggs. I'm sorry, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. Oh, so you don't trust me, eh? Well, trickery is out and stealing is in. No, come back! That's mine! <laughs> and I'd better hide till the heat's off. Where'd he 
go? Oh no, I've lost him. And I've lost the egg too. When one felt he was a safe distance away, he paused beneath the shade of a large tree to figure out what he was going to do next. What am I going to do with you? You almost got broke. I got to do something to protect you, or you'll never make it home in one piece. Cook it! One minute egg, two minute egg, three minute egg, hard boiled, drop it right in here. I've got a stopwatch. Well... It wouldn't break then. Shell might crack, but the insides won't gush and gum all over you. Uh, okay. One minute egg, two minute egg, three minute egg. Hard boiled, please. Four minute egg, coming up. Uh, uh, what's your name? One. One what? That's my name, One. Not a very colorful name, is it? Unlike mine, Ricky Pink Flamingo. <laughs> you see? That's a colorful name because it has pink in it. Eh, eh, looks like everything around here just about has pink in it. Why not? Everything should be pink. Just ask me. Think pink. Drink pink. Clink pink. Wink pink. Pink, 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 pink. Each and every single thing around you should be pink. Oh, no. Pink ink, pink mink, pink sink, pink links. Pink, 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 pink. Each and every single thing around you should be pink. I'm not really in the mood for this. Pink weasels, pink measles, pink diesels, and pink leasels. Only pink 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 never think, think, think. That there's no other color in the world as nice as pink. If you'll just give me back my pink ice. Pink mice. Pink dice. Blink twice. I'll just pink pink bees. Pink trees. Pink peas. Pink bees. Pink, 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 pink. Each and every single thing around you should be pink. Yes, it's state, state, states if you don't think, think, think. And don't believe the world should be absolutely, totally. The mountain tops and countryside, and valleys stretching far and wide, and every rock and every tree, and everything from sea to sea. Colored every shade of pink. <laughs> uh, you're right, I'm sure you're right, but I really have to go now. If it isn't pink, it should be dyed pink. You should be dyed pink. Uh, me? I, I'm a white rabbit. And my, my shirt is red. Uh, red and white make pink. You, you can't do without red and white. You have a point. So uh, can I get my egg back now? Yes, yes. Uh, I have to get back to work anyway. Make baskets. That's what I do. I uh, noticed. Speaking of baskets, this egg is going to be hot. What's that got to do with anything? Then you seem like a nice kid, even if you aren't pink. So I'm going to give you one of my famous baskets to carry it in. Well, that's very nice of you, but... Ah! My egg! It's pink! Things usually are after they've been boiled in pink dye. You didn't tell me you were going to make it pink. You didn't tell me you didn't want it pink. Sure you don't want to be dyed pink to match? I've got a spray gun! <laughs> shh, shh. Uh, uh, no, thank you. This is fine. This was very nice of you. Thanks for the basket. Bye! Bye! Psh, psh. One beat a hasty retreat, and just in the nick of time, 
He may have wanted to give his mother a present, but the present he wanted to give her wasn't a pink bunny rabbit. Poor one. He set out to give his mother a wonderful Easter dinner, and all he came back with was an egg in a basket, and a pink egg at that. It looks more like a Christmas tree ornament than dinner. Well, no rules say I have to get my mother dinner for a present. I could just give her a pretty decoration. Maybe if I painted this a little, it wouldn't look so, so pink. And so, one set about to make the egg less pink by adding other colors and designs. And finally, when he was finished, he was ready to present his present to his mother. I wanted to give you a wonderful Easter present to thank you for all you've done for us. And I tried my best. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Well, I say it's a thought that counts. Oh. It's beautiful. It is? My very own Easter egg. What a wonderful idea. It is? Yes, apparently it was a wonderful idea. Because everyone one's mother showed it to thought it was just as beautiful as she did. And everyone agreed that Easter needed its own special decoration. And this was it. Soon. Everyone was coming from miles around to see the beautiful egg, and anyone who saw it wanted one of their own. They gathered around one and clamored for him to make eggs for them. And soon, one was one busy rabbit, making egg after egg after egg. And as news of his wonderful eggs spread, even more people wanted them. And one had to enlist his entire family to help. He even asked Rinky Pink Flamingo to supervise the making of Easter baskets and convinced him that all of them didn't have to be pink. Think pink, think red, think yellow, think blue, and green and orange and violet and every other color too. As the demand for the eggs got bigger and bigger, one finally had Hobnob and Robin build a big factory. Think hammers, think nails, think saws, and up some bolts and pails. Everybody's busy, busy, everybody's on the run. We got a job to do and there's no stop until it's done. And Frida Chicken was enlisted to supervise a whole flock of hens who laid eggs all day to make Easter eggs. Think that's by the dozens, all my chicken cousins, no reduction in production until Easter time. Soon, one's wonderful Easter eggs were known everywhere. And though his friends and family still called him one, the rest of the world has come to know him as the Easter Rabbit. But one's fame didn't go to his head. Oh no, for every Easter, he can be found leading and inspiring his whole crew to make sure everyone has a happy Easter morning. Think eggs, think baskets, it is just a task. It's a pleasure to make everybody's Easter morning grand thing proud. Think happy, but you gotta make it snappy. There's a million children waiting for, for a basket, basket in their hand. Think eggs, think Easter. It's an Easter, Easter egg or feaster. And, and we're, we're all here to make it clear that as the day is drawing near,